I am Dr. Genesis Mercado. I am a licensed medical doctor. And our topic for today is hypertension. Number one, we will define what is the normal blood pressure. Number two, what is the difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure? And number three, how can we say that the patient is hypertensive? Before we discuss hypertension, we will discuss the artery. Artery is a blood vessel that carries blood from our heart going to the different parts of our body. It is important because the pressure exerted in the arteries will tell us our blood pressure. For example, your doctor informed you that your blood pressure is 120 over 80. The first number, the numerator, 120, that is your systolic blood pressure. While the number below the line, the denominator, that is your diastolic blood pressure. So what is the difference between the two? Systolic blood pressure is the pressure exerted by your blood in the walls of the artery whenever your heart beats. While the diastolic blood pressure is the pressure exerted by your blood to the walls of the artery whenever your heart relaxes in between beats. How do doctors classify a patient if a patient is normal or hypertensive? So your doctor will use guidelines. There are actually many guidelines. We have European guidelines, American guidelines, Indian guidelines, and the local Philippine guidelines. So for this discussion, we will discuss the Philippine guidelines and the American Heart Association slash American College of Cardiology guidelines. So we will discuss first the Philippine guidelines. So this is the executive summary of the 2020 Clinical Practice Guidelines for the Management of Hypertension in the Philippines. For the normal BP, um, the systolic is less than 120 and diastolic of 80. Borderline BP, systolic of 120 to 139 over diastolic of 80 to 89. And hypertension, if the systolic is greater than or equal to 140 with diastolic of 90. The second guidelines is the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology, AHA slash ACC guidelines. Normal is less than 120 over less than 80. Elevated is 120 to 129 over less than 80. Hypertension stage 1 is 130 to 139 over 80 to 89. And stage 2, greater than or equal to 140 over greater than or equal to 90. So patients with systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure in two categories should be designated to the higher BP category. As you can see, the guidelines are different. So for example, um, the patient has BP of 139 over 89. So if the doctor will use the Philippine guidelines, the patient is borderline blood pressure. But if the doctor will use the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology guidelines, the patient is stage 1 hypertensive. It is up to your doctor to choose which guidelines he will use for the patient. Treatment plan will depend on the BP category and the BP category will depend on the specific guidelines. So the next time that you visit your doctor and the doctor will tell you that you are hypertensive, you can now ask your doctor, Doc, I am hypertensive because of which guidelines? Okay, so I hope you learned something new today. Kindly like and share this video to your friends. Thank you.